Oh, recipe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now it's baited. Okay. So left click, right click. You you might have found something. What does that mean? When I right click, it says you might have found something. What? How do I know? What the, what does that even mean? <laughs> I might have found something. Oh. Oh, we got it. Nice. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy. Gaming in in this episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, it's still day eight uh, and about 530 in the afternoon, so we have a little bit of daylight left. Um, and really, we're still just trying to find iron, man. That's really what's killing us right now uh, is iron. So uh, if we take a look, uh, we need to craft the uh, forging plate and the advanced bellows. One of you guys reminded me. Uh, in the comments that I had already made a casting tunnel. Thank you very much for reminding me about that because I had completely forgot, of course. Um, and it's uh, somewhere. <laughs> I just saw it a second ago. Where the hell go? Oh, right here. Okay. So yeah, we do have a casting tunnel. So we got that done. Um, but we need to make. We still need to make the bellows, and we need to make the forging plate, which is the I think the one that's going to be the hardest because this. Um, we have two pipes already. Uh, I oh, yeah. I think we're after leather for this one. And I don't know if we have... Do we have the duct tape that we need for that? I can't remember, man. Uh, but anyway, uh, what what, the, what I'd like to do in this episode is is go out and about and, uh, you know, kind of keep uh, hitting some POIs, looking around until dark. And then when dark comes, I'm going to cut the camera, uh, organize all my inventory, and then... Depending upon, you know, how much time we have left uh, in this episode, uh, we'll start tomorrow morning and, and keep on keeping on. Okay, so that's the plan uh, for for that. Uh, one of you guys told me in the comments, why don't you go around and hit a bunch of grass to get insects to eat food? Um, the reason I'm not keen on doing that is because uh, you need a lot of insects, which means that means I've got to expend a lot of calories hitting grass and... I, I haven't tested this, but I could very well spend more calories trying to find those few bugs than the bugs are going to fix, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, so that's kind of what's in my head about that. So let's um let's go ahead and look around. We've we've pretty well we haven't covered the upper floors of this place, but it's iron that we have to find, and I just don't know how I'm going to come across forged iron um, without a wrench. I I guess. I mean, theoretically, we should be able to find a wrench and a sink, I guess. I don't know. You just, the Ravenhurst changes the game so much, you know, that I I can't assume anymore that things are going to work like they do in vanilla. Uh, let's take a look at your inventory. Do you happen to have, ooh, okay, he has an advanced bellows in his inventory. Do you have any iron? Let's just look through here. That advanced bellows is kind of expensive, though. He's got an anvil. Um, okay, nothing in the main stash. Got an AK. Okay, yeah, so oh, he doesn't he doesn't have any Check iron. Um, advanced bells. We'd have to come up with 2200 and some odd ch change to buy that. Now, I don't I don't think we need to. I think what we need is leather and we can just make it cuz that's a lot of money for us right now. So let's uh let's keep looking for places with sinks in it. And, uh, you know, see if we can just find a wrench. Because if we can find a wrench, you know, I've come across a couple of ruined um, workbenches. And we get, you'll get iron ingots from taking those apart. But you have to have a wrench. That's the thing. So I think a wrench is what we need more than anything else right at the moment. And I hope to God that we can actually find wrenches and sinks in Ravenhurst. Who knows, man? Who knows? Uh, so, okay. That being the case, let's uh, let's go over here first. I don't know if I've actually been in here. There might be a sink in this place that we could check out. The kitchen's over that way. Oh, I have looted this place. Everything's empty. All right. <laughs> so much for that idea. Um, 
Let's go. We're just going to hit all these houses. Try and get into the kitchen of all these houses here. Um, so this is the next one. Let's go around this way. So basement. Let's see if we can kind of sneak in through here. There's a zombie right over there that we're probably going to aggro. Okay, let's deal with the outside zombo first. I really, really wished I had a hunting knife because that's what we need for the next part of the quest. Okay, so we learned in the last episode that the bleeds do not stack. So we hit them once, we let the bleed completely wear out, we hit them twice, and then the, uh, the an average zombo like this one will die. It only takes two hits. We just have to wait a little bit longer for it to take effect. So as soon as she stops squawking, you can also see the the blood spurt, but it's kind of hard to see. You have to look closely. She should drop. Okay, yeah, that was such a beautiful discovery. I'm so glad I discovered that in the last episode. Okay, let's go up here. Somebody's breaking through here. It's Nurse Nancy. Get this busted down so we can get some... Here, come back down here, Nurse Nancy. Can I hit her from there? There, we got it. Okay. So same thing, we'll just apply two bleeds to her. Biker's probably going to require three or four. He's a lot tougher. As long as he doesn't rage on us. Of course, the bleed can cause them to start raging. Is the thing. So yeah, this is doable. We just have to be a little more patient to solve. Wow, he's running fast now. Leave me alone. Is Nurse Nancy dead? Yeah, she's down. Okay. I'm guessing this guy's going to take... At, well, he's going to take at least three, maybe even four, because he's pretty tough. We'll just see what happens here. There we go. Okay, so three bleeds on the biker will take him out. Uh, like I said, it takes a little more time, but it saves durability for us, and it's just a better way to go. Let's sneaky doodle in here. There's the kitchen right there, which is good. All right, we got cheerleader there. Let's see if we can open this up without waking her up. All right, that is not a wrench. What about this one? Yeah, I don't. I just don't know how I'm going to do this without finding a wrench. If you guys have any ideas, I mean, is there another way to make this happen without a wrench? Let me let me know. I would very much like to hear your comments on on that. There's some seeds. I mean, if we can keep hitting these cupboards without waking her up, we might as well. There's a little food pile there too. I'll grab that last. We've got pretty good reach on our dude here. Nothing in there. Okay, let's just very carefully go this way. You know, we still need... Um, wait. No, I guess we have two pipes, don't we? Okay. We have two pipes, so we're good to go on that. Cat food. We're going to eat that right now. Okay. Check the microwave. I'm surprised we'll be able to loot all this stuff without waking her up. Got some water, crash compactor. Nothing. Jars in the retro refrigerator. An ear of corn. Okay, um, 
I'm just trying to decide if I want to try and kill her and get the toilet or move on. I think I want to move on. Uh, because here again, if we can't find a wrench, I don't know what to do. I honestly am stumped as to what to do to get the iron we need to proceed. So, uh, again, very much would like to hear from you guys on your suggestions on what I might be able to do about that. Okay. Let's um, see what's right on the other side of this. Okay, so the kitchen's over there. We could have someone in there. We do have someone in there. Okay, let's get a sneaky sneak off on her. Okay, come over here, darling. Come to Papa. All right, I think we hit her. Did we? No, she's not bleeding. Okay, now we hit her. Give me my arrow back, too. Thank you, darling. So we'll let her drop, and we'll go in and check that kitchen. Uh, we might actually have... Oh, nice. Just one... We have someone in there? No, we're good to go in there. Okay. There's also that other closet there. Let's check that one. Uh, I think that one's clear. Okay, let's go through here. Got somebody's attention. I'm not sure where that somebody is, though. Uh. Okay. Oh, now someone shows up in a freaking closet. What the hell, man? That's hacks. See if uh, that barricade's not going to last before we have to hit him again, so let's put another one down here. Let's see if we can actually pick this up before he breaks it. <laughs> nope, I guess not. Oh, it's still, he's still picking it up. Oh, we got it back. Oh, man. I know that was a little bit hacksy, but <laughs> we got it back. I can't believe it. Yeah, that was that was kind of cheaty, wasn't it? I'm I'm gonna throw one out because uh, I don't think that was fair. We we got we got to do this fair and square, man. We got to do this fair and square. So what we're gonna do is, um, uh, split. How come I can't split this? There we go. So we'll just chuck that one. Uh, let's get rid of this glass, and uh, I'm going to chuck the can for now and the single piece of paper. Uh, we just need to be conservative with our space. Okay, um, so we got we got uh, this Sambo here, so let's get a sneaky sneak off on her. Oh, my goodness, that was good. That's what I call a sneaky sneak. Okay, bookcase. Baseball bat schematic. I'll take it. Won't be able to do a damn thing about it until I can get a workbench going, but still, I'll take it. Full show. Okay, what do we got in here? Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, we got another closet there with with uh, zombie yo in it. That went, <laughs> that went right over his head. Let's go down a little bit. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? It's the lower angle we're shooting from is what the deal is. Oh, I put the wrong one in the wrong place. Oh, good. He got knocked over. He might drop because we did get a sneak arrow shot off on him before he breaks the thing. Yep, he did. Okay. So as long as they don't destroy my barricades completely, 
I reserve the right to pick them back up and reuse them. If you don't like it, tough. <laughs> That's the rules. That's the house rules, man. We're making them up as we go. That's the house rules. But if they do break it entirely like that last time, uh, even though I was able to pick it up, that that I'm not going to do because they did actually legit break it. Okay, let's sneaky do in here and somebody outside whose attention I would rather not tracked. Okay, let's grab this food. More cat food. We'll take it. Let's see what's in here. Um, let's grab the two arrows. It's really nice to be able to get those arrows back. Okay, come on, Sink. Come on, Sink. Please give us a wrench. Please, please, please. Well, we got two pipes. That's good, but that's not what we need. Right now, we need wrenches. Might as well check everything else. Uh, not going to take that. Not going to do it. We have to be conservative again with our space. Well, I will definitely take some coffee, though, if there is some in here. You know, I can't remember off the top of my head um, what the, the holdup is on our water filter thingamadoodle. There was something that stopped us. Uh, you know, from getting that. I just don't remember what it was, so I'm going to have to check that when we get back to the base. Uh, speaking of which, we better probably start scooching back there because it is getting late. It's getting late. Let's check the fridge. This door is unlocked. No zombies in here. Let's check this for meds. Oh, steroids. Nice. Okay. Probably going to find Dookie in here. A toilet pistol would be nice, though. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's take this apart. Get the pipe. Oh, shit. That's going to take a long time. More better. And I guess we'll check the guts in here. Can you imagine how bad that would smell? Ugh. Yeah. We're not taking that right now. Okay. Uh, we better get back to our base because it is almost night time. Oh, let's check these two cabinets too. And then what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to I'm going to organize all my stuff and just kind of assess, you know, where we're at with everything. And then in the morning, I think what you know all we can really do is continue looking for a wrench. Um, but I'll I'll take a look and see where we're at uh, with the water filtration unit too, and see you know what's missing from there. Uh, let me get rid of a couple things so I'm not encumbered here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the dope because I don't even know what the hell it's used for. This can we just eat this straight up? Yeah, might as well. I mean, it's only two points in food, but it's two points in food, right? And one other thing, one other thing to get rid of. Uh, one piece of paper. And two things of plastic. Fairly easy to get. One point over in comfort. not a big deal. Okay. So, yeah. I will uh, see you guys in manana. All right, guys. Uh, it is morning. And uh, so, yeah. I spent the night uh, just getting all this stuff put away. So, all these are empty again. Um, and I put everything that uh, we need for these quests uh, in here that I currently have. And the thing that was uh, that stopping us on the water filtration is iron ingots. We need seven iron ingots to make a burning barrel. And that, yeah, that's what's holding us up on that. Uh, now, speaking of water, I'm quite thirsty and quite hungry. We're going to take a chance and drink um, some boiled water because that's all I have. And if we get the shits, we get the shits, you know? I mean, what can you do, right? Uh, so let's drink that. And looks like we got away with it. Okay, good. Uh, so we'll put this back in here. And as far as food goes, I actually had uh, a few nuts in one of the bags uh, when I was putting stuff away. So I ate that, and that's all I got. I mean, that is it for food. Uh, let me look in here one last time. This is our food bag. If I had a little bit more, uh, you know, two more pieces or three more pieces of this, I could make one bacon and eggs, but I don't. So, yeah, <laughs> we're in pretty bad shape. Uh, we could eat 
these. Uh, we'd get four food. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably not worth it. Okay, so uh, once again, we are on the hunt for... I don't want to mess with that wolf. Uh, we are on the hunt for... Um, iron. Iron ingots. And if we can't find iron ingots, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure, you know, how we're going to be able to progress if we don't find those. So that's where we're at. So let's kind of go back the way uh, to where we were last night. And we're just continuing to look at through sinks at kitchens because that's the best place to find pipes that I'm, uh, not pipes, pipe wrenches that I'm aware of. Uh, let's pop into the kitchen of this place and do the same thing here. This is the house uh, that has like a, a huge underground like laboratory kind of thing in it. All right, come over here. Oh man, you ugly. It's a different, uh, different zombie skin there. Yeah, so there's like a big underground um, lab and stuff down there, but that's way beyond our ability to do anything with at this point. You done bleeding? Maybe the kitchen's in that corner there. I'm not sure. We'll wait for this guy to drop and then we'll check it out. You know, we, we could um, we could put this on our toolbar. Uh, I guess we don't have to keep the... Oh, I know what I was going to do. I actually have um, a fishing pole that we found somewhere and I got a couple of worms. We should actually go try that out um there's water down this way so yeah let, let's pop in here first and uh, then you know because if i can catch some fish then you know food right <laughs> uh, so let's hop in here really quick though and check out the kitchen i was going to say i could use my pitchfork uh, to help encourage the zombies to die faster particularly when they're blocked behind something anyway just to speed things up a little bit. Food. Come on, give me like a beef ration or something good, man. Uh, I'll take that. That's that's as good as a beef ration. There could be somebody in there. Okay, let's check the sink. Come on, pipe wrench. Please, I need a pipe wrench. Oh, frick. <laughs> no pipe wrenches. All right, well, let's check the rest of the coverage for food. Um, and then we are actually going to go... Uh, try out fishing and see if we can actually catch fish. I have no idea how it works. We'll have to figure it out, but there's some more water too that we could uh, risk taking if we need to. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if we can catch some fish, that uh, that would be a really good thing. Oh, more food there. Okay, cool. Hopefully it's not a thing where you need five fish to cook one fish bullshit. There's pears. All right, we'll take that. We're actually taking the edge off of the food just a just a little bit here. Not a ton, but a little bit. Just enough to get by. Because that's pretty much how this whole playthrough has gone so far. <laughs> just enough to get by. More bowls. I'm assuming we're required to use those for something, soup, whatever, later. Um... Oh, you know what? We just got a couple of things of cornbread, but I'm not going to be able to hit that last one with him coming after us. Oh, shit. Should we... Oh, can he... Ah, uh, I misplaced it. Damn it. Okay. Oh, well, uh, I want to get my barricade back anyway, and let's just go back in and check that last cupboard. Bump him a couple times with this, too. You'd think a pitchfork would cause bleeding. It should. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't it, right? Okay, he did. Let's go back in. I should have removed that stuff, but oh well. Hopefully there's no Zekers in the immediate vicinity. Now, we're not going to take any marijuana right now because I just don't see how that's going to help us. might make us feel a little bit better, but it's not actually going to help us. <laughs> uh... 
yeah, we already looked in there. I think that's it for in the kitchen. So yeah, let's let's head out and try uh, try fishing. But I am gonna pick this back up. So, um, but that you know that got us up to like about sixty percent food, which actually isn't so bad, you know, it isn't so bad at all. All right, let's run. Am I going the right direction? Do do yeah. Let's run towards the these bodies of water over here and see how if we can get some fish. I have a few things to sell to the trader too. Um, but I'm not carrying them right now because I don't want to get encumbered. In fact, we're already keep hitting the I key for inventory. We're already a little bit encumbered. We we don't need this right now. We don't need those right now. Uh oh yeah, let's eat this right now. Straight up. Cornbread. Between those two things, uh, that's actually gonna get us in pretty decent shape with our food. Um all right. Let's keep the rest of that with us and go see if we can catch some fish. So we didn't find a wrench in that house, but we certainly found a nice little bunch of food. It's desperately needed. So yeah, hopefully um, this is just a matter of catching one fish and then we can cook and eat that one fish. I'm going to be really pissed if we need five fish to make one cooked fish. I'm going to fucking rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just so hate that about this game. I always will. Okay, so we got a Zeker here. Do 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 Whoop, he's moving fast. Let's get out in front of him here. Okay, his bleeds should be done. And that should drop him pretty soon. Come on, man. Go down. You know you wanna. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. He requires three applications. I forgot. Yeah, we gotta give Baldy three applications. All right, let's see if there's anything in this truck. There's something carved into the window in that truck. I can't tell what it is. Though. Uh, nope, not taking any of that stuff just because of encumbrance issues. All right, we don't want to be right in the middle of fishing and have Edgar come and try and bite our ass. Um, so I guess we should probably eliminate him. For, I don't know how long it takes, you know, like... Do we have to sit there for a long time and wait for the fish to bite, or how does that even work? We're going to find out, but I want to make sure, like I said, these guys aren't going to be coming after us in the meantime. Will you start coming straight? Thank you. Edgar's going to require three applications of bleed. Of course, we did hit him a couple times with arrows, so that might make a little bit of a difference. Give him a pitchfork right in the mouth. Pitchfork sandwich. Okay, he's done bleeding. It would be very nice to... There we go. Find a hunting knife. Because that's what we need to start working on the quest. Okay, so Arlene is way over there. Cheerleader's kind of come in this direction, though. Um, yeah, let's, let's eliminate her too. I think she's going to cause trouble for us if we don't. Nice hit. Okay, come straight at us. There you go. All right. Give me my arrows. And... Take a bone knife. She might go down because we hit her twice. Yep, she's dead. Okay. Uh, as far as I can tell, the immediate vicinity is clear. Arlene's over there. There's a couple Zeke's way over there, but not super close. So let's give this a try. Uh, like I said, I have no idea how this actually works, but hopefully it'll be it'll be obvious. Uh, so we're gonna put the fishing pole there. I'm assuming we drag a worm and put it 
on it? Oh, uh, wait, what? Okay, do we do this instead? Hold R to load. No. Uh, does it just take the... How does this work? This fishing rod is long, flexible pole used to catch fish. Bait with a worm to use it in water. Oh, recipe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now it's baited. Okay. So left click, right click. You, you might have found something. What does that mean? You might have found something. When I right click, it says you might have found something. But how do I know? What the, what does that even mean? <laughs> I might have found something. I don't get it. Uh, is it down by our feet? Okay, let's try it again. Let's go a little deeper. Okay, right clicking didn't do anything. I guess we have to stand on the shore. You might have found something. Is it just we do it every time and then we have to just keep um, checking our inventory? Here, let's go over here. And how, how many times can we use a baited fishing rod? Does it eventually wear out? I don't see like a durability bar on it or anything. You might have found something. Oh! Oh, we got it! Nice! Okay. Okay, so you caught something. Right-click the ground to place it into a block and take a look. Destroy the block once you place it. Okay. Right-click on the ground. Uh. Okay, and then... And we got two fish out of a gut pile. Hot damn! Oh, that's neat. Okay, so so we get the we get the rod back, and we have another worm. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is go here, recipes, baited fishing rod, and then I just I guess we just spam right click until it actually catches something. I don't know why does it say you might have found something. That doesn't make sense to me. You might have found something. It should say... Um, you didn't find anything. <laughs> okay, this is kind of cool, though. I have I don't remember where I came across those worms. Um, so do I just... Do I have to wait each time until the message goes away, or can I just spam the right click? Well, there we go. We got it. We got it. Okay, cool. All right, now right click on the ground, break this, and oh, we didn't get, what? We didn't get any more fish. So it's a random chance kind of thing? Oh, man. All right, well, we got two fish. We got two fish. Hmm, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't. I don't know what to think about how he implemented that. <laughs> I love the idea of it. Absolutely love the idea of it. Especially if I don't need five of these to make one. But, I don't know, that was just kind of weird. Like, I, I'm i okay with having to right-click multiple times and, you know, it having a chance to proc. But, you know, once it procs, I think we should get something for it. Um... I guess it's, uh, or, you know, if he wants to simulate the fish spitting, up, spitting the hook out, you know, then have it say you you lost the fish or something. But if we actually pull something in, we should be able to actually pull something in. That's kind of my thoughts on it. So anyway, it's cool overall, though. definitely cool. Especially, I mean, we're going to get back to the base here in just a second and see if we can make two fish because that's going to make me a really happy camper if we can all 
Okay, she's dead. I'm not going to kill these other zombies because I want to see if we can actually make some fish here. I'm try I, I wish I knew how I came up with the worms. Is it? Did I get them from just digging? Because this could be... This could be, you know, a viable way to get some sustenance. Um, boiled fish. We have two boiled water, so charred fish or grilled fish. My guess is that boiled fish is going to be a little bit better than grilled fish if it's the same as, you know, the meat. And hallelujah, we only need one. Okay, cool. So let's make two things of boiled fish. We might actually get our food topped off, or, or at least pretty close. And again, if this is like the meat, this should also give us some height. Oh, it doesn't give us any hydration. It gives us some health, though. Okay. Um. We'll have to compare that with with grilled fish because you know when you make boiled meat in the game you get hydration from it too uh, but look at our food bar going up oh man that is a beautiful thing okay so our food's actually at about what 85 percent not bad at all okay so yeah um my i don't remember but my guess is that i got those worms from digging at some point uh, I want to see if that is, in fact, the case. I'm just going to put the fishing rod there. Uh, this doesn't seem to have any kind of durability, so I'm guessing it'll last forever. Um, so let's see if we can get away from these Zikaroos and just do a little bit of digging. Um, because here again, I want to see if that's how I got those worms. Because that could be our salvation, for at least for the time being, for food. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's just dig a little bit and see if we get some worms. There we go. We just got a worm. Um, okay, so good. Uh, did we just get another one? Oh, we got three worms. Excellent. Okay. Well, guys, this is really, really good news. Um, we just got another one, too. It seems like... I'm not 100% positive, but it seems like you need to go two blocks down to start getting the worms. So I don't think I got any at all when I was up in the sod layer. See, we got another worm there, too. Oh, this is fantastic, man. Okay, good deal. So, let's, um... Let's go back and use up all of these worms and catch some more fish. Because um, I'd like my food to be all the way topped off and have, you know, some extra on hand. And man, if we can if we can just find the seven iron ingots somehow, we can make the water filtration unit, and then we've got we've got food and water covered, man. Uh, so let's go back and see how many more fish we can catch. How many worms did I get? Five in total. Okay. All right, so out of five worms, we found three fish, one rotten fish, and three prawns. Interesting. Okay, let's go back, cook those up, get our food topped all the way off, and then we will resume our search for iron ingots. Okay, this time we're going to have to make grilled fish because I don't have any water uh, jars left anyways. Uh, so let's make three of those. I think the boiled fish gave us 10 food per and 4 health. This gives us 10 and... Okay, it looks like it's the same. Cool. Now, um, is there a recipe for... Okay, we got charred prawns. 
Oh, but we need we need four in total. Okay, so we only got two. Fair enough. And then I don't know what we do with the rotten fish. What's the recipes? Oh, we just turn it into rotting flesh. Okay. All right. Well, good deal, man. Good deal. Uh, I'm just going to chuck the rotten fish. We will save the prawns, though, because more than likely we'll get uh, more of those as things continue here. Okay, so we're going to eat... Wait, didn't I just put those prawns in there? No, I didn't. Uh, guess we'll just put them in there. Okay, so let's eat this fish. We're going to eat two, and we'll see how close that gets us to the top. I'm going to store the rod in here for now. Okay, let's run over to the trader and sell this stuff and see if there's any snowball's chance in hell that he hap would happen to have a... Uh, 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 iron ingots. Here, let's go. Let's look at our status. Our food's 99 out of 105. So, yeah. We'll, we'll run over to the trader. We'll eat this when we get there. That should get us pretty much to the very top. And then, uh, you know, we'll be good for food for a little while. But at least now I know how, to, how I can get food. So I'm going to have to spend some time, and unfortunately I can't do this at night. Well, actually, if I dug a tunnel, I could do it at night. Hmm, that's something to think about. Dig a tunnel underground, um, and then just dig all night long. We'd get a bunch of clay, we'd get some XP, and we'd get a bunch of worms for food. Okay, let's eat this now. All right, Trader Bob, um, I want to sell you this, and I want to sell you this. Um, oh, you don't want that? Oh, that's right. We're not. We can't sell stuff to him. I completely forgot about that. Oh shit. Okay. I think he's got the same inventory as we he had the last time we looked. So he restocks on day fifteen. And safe it's day friend. nine right now. So okay. Well, we got a little bit of coin. Whoops. A little bit of coin for selling the cash, anyways. Well, damn it. If I can't sell this. Uh, I guess we'll scrap it. Um, it'll give us some electrical parts. I already have another leather duster, so we'll scrap that. Ooh, that's... We needed that for the bellows. Oh, nice. Okay. we. Can, I think we can make the bellows now, guys. It, but it's not going to do us any good until we can also make the forging plate, which is, you know, we still need that for the iron. All right. Well, we are out of time in this episode. So uh, what I'm going to do is... Um, basically just go home in this episode and then start up the next episode on this same day. We still have like the entire afternoon uh, to go continue looking for, um, iron ingots. But I am very happy that we discovered how to fish and that we can make one fish, one raw fish is one cooked fish. Oh, I left this running. And, uh, so that, that was a very good discovery. And we should have everything we need now to make the bellows, I think. Let's just look at that really quick. I'm going to gra grab all of that stuff. Uh, we can. Yep, let's do it. Let's get it made. And then the last thing we need is that, that forging plate. Um, oh, that's right. I have to stay in the thing. So, all right. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. Catch it in the next one. Bye-bye.